Jeff Silvera here at C3. California, I think you guys needed this. Uh, John Stutzman's up there and he goes, this is a good state to be in. What do you think of the talent here at C3? Oh wow, it's, it's great. It's the typical, um, you got kids all over, deep kids. It's like being at the state meet where you know the seventh, sixth, seventh, eighth place guys are pretty good kids. And you see a lot of these kids here that didn't even place at the state meet and talented. And you know if they didn't place last year, they're going to end up placing this year. A lot of these names I recognize, the state qualifiers. So it's great. A lot of deep talent, a lot of good kids here. Looking at your guys' situation, five NCAA qualifiers. You got a new head coach. You're the associate head coach. Which congratulations on that promotion. That's pretty pretty awesome. But how has it been for you transition wise? Two head coaches in three years, right? Yeah. Yeah. That that's that's crazy. Trans, you know, to make that transition. What's it been like for you? It's been good. It's um, you know, Mike Mendoza was great to work with. Uh, you know, easy going. Uh, put out what he expected from you, and Annie's pretty much the same way. He's um, says this is what I need. This is what I expect. Lays out the plans, and you execute it, and get it done. Uh, with him and Sean Boyle, who came on, three of us worked really well together. We, um, you know, we had a little some rough patches this season, some injuries, but we got through it. Had five NCAA qualifiers. Uh, we're, you know, next year we want guys on the podium. We don't have guys on the podium next year. It's going to be disappointing, no matter how many guys we qualify. Looking at what you guys have done, you know, it's been, um, it's a lot of fundraising, you know, because you've had to match other sports and do all this other crazy stuff. The sport of wrestling. To me, it looks like it's growing around here in, in the state of California. And then I look at the college level. You did just add a program with Fresno, but what's it take for you guys to succeed and, and build more programs out here in the West and in California? Well, here in the West, it's just been um, a struggle at times. Um, Cal Baptist is coming up to D1, which will be great. Uh, we're still surviving and thriving. Uh, we have to fundraise our budget, which is about $250,000 a year. That's everything from salaries to recruiting to uh shoes to shoes yeah just everything sweats Sweats. whatever yeah right and the school's helping out where they can and it's been a good improvement and we're hoping they can continue to uh, help us out and hopefully have some kind of state funding from them um, our ad's great our associate ad who's our sports supervisor karen langston she's wonderful and she's on the ncaa championship committee now so things are moving the right direction. We're excited. We got uh, Manny's excited. I'm excited. Things are moving the right way, and we're just hoping where we get to that point where we don't have to fundraise everything and we just put a little bit more focus on the kids and the community where it needs to be. I look at this event, the C3, the College Combine, the Combine, Compound College Combine, and you know, what did you expect coming into the event? What were you looking for? What did you expect? You know, this is my first time at this thing, so I didn't really know what to expect, but it's awesome. Cliff does a great job of uh, putting this together, getting good quality kids to come out. I mean, there's, there's state places here. There's two kids that were in the top three, or there's a state runner up here, a kid that was third, a lot of state qualifiers. The talent here is something that kind of blew me away. I mean, I know we have a deep state, but get these kids to come out on the 4th of July holiday weekend. It's great. We did a great job of putting this on and having coaches from all over the country here. Has that met your expectations? Oh yeah, it's great. I'll, I'll be back here again if he uh, brings it back to California. It's wonderful. Would you guys, you know, it comes back here, is it something where you guys could actually travel to another one or another state too if you like the guy at one of them? Oh yeah, I mean that's something that's totally possible. I mean, I know there's talent all along the west coast here. I mean, Oregon has good kids, Washington, down in Arizona, the, the high school level talent is growing. It's just not, um, you know, some people used to think it's just California, but places are getting better. And as long as college programs keep growing, it's going to be more, the kids will get better. It trickles down, all trickles down from the college level to the high school. What's next for you, Fargo? You know what, I won't be in Fargo. I think Coach Vera might be going. We have summer camps at our place, and then just training with the kids. We have great commitment from our team. Um, everyone's there training, working out, and we're getting ready to go for the season. Right. Coach, you got a long drive back. You got anything else for me? Hey, I'm headed to the beach right now. You're headed to the beach? Headed to the beach. You lucky duck. Hey, thanks for the time. Safe travels, Coach, and go Roadrunners. Thanks, Ed.